You fired up? Yeah, it's going. Oh, we're going. <laughs> All right, it's going. going. Yeah. We got the the one of the greatest men I've ever <laughs> I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah, this is sincere, you fuck. Schwarzkopf? Stop laughing <laughs> through it. <laughs> yeah, he'll be here in a minute. <laughs> Colin it's Powell not you. Pops in. I'll tell you that. You, I mean, your entrance is so foley to begin with, because you got to ring the doorbell typically, and I hear him in the hallway apologizing to our upstairs yeah, neighbors. Well, I don't know the how the fuck door? you got in here. Who I know knows you, your name? Who knows their How name? did you get in the front door? He goes, door? oh, you're looking for Tommy and Shane? I'm like, what are you, a fucking fed? <laughs> <laughs> I had the that, fucking earpiece hanging. Yeah, there. I know you didn't climb in the window. I wonder how the fuck you got in here. I just hear his voice echoing down the hallway. Tommy knows everybody. Tommy knows everybody around town. I that, is, that is one thing he's very good with. Yeah. You're, when you go, you know everybody, you get settled. You're, I don't you, know their names. But I hey, just, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. You, you know the dry yeah. cleaning guy. You know I the, do. You're, you, you know Joe at your local yeah. tavern? Uh, a dry cleaning guy. I know the, the lady at Seatown. I know the, 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 <laughs> the guy that gives me amino acids at the uh, nutrition <laughs> store. <laughs> amino acids. <Yeah. laughs> Armenian acids. Armenian acids. How you doing, Armenian. Billy? How's your mom? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. thanks. See you, Miss Camaretti. <laughs> 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 You do have a very hometown vibe. That you do settle in. You like yeah. to cook in here. I'm excited to be in here and see this. It's nice. Who hung all... Why is it looking like the Louvre in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is to offset our sadness. You it's know, like yeah. the Louvre but a Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? We got some nice pieces in here. You got some Monet. You got some Manet. Yeah, I yeah. see a Renoir, whatever that guy no, there's is. There's no Manet in here. I would yeah. never. None? No, I hate Manet. Who's... Why? Who's do you? I don't, I don't like him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I you got an like attitude Manet. towards a that is, I didn't, famous painter? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like his whole vibe. I don't like his <laughs> real piece of yeah. shit. Yeah. He was. He Would you see a clip of him online? Favorite, You're like, I don't like his attitude. My favorite story ever is Manet. Manet. So I'm at the Met Gala making a fool of <laughs> yeah. himself. Real fucking prick. Yeah. Dressed like he was from 300 years ago. <laughs> no, I went up and said hello. He brushed me off like he didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Manet, big fan. Okay, fuck you then, too. <laughs> Hey, big fan of your work. Would you? We started me? together. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. started. Yeah. Yeah. You there's only, a raven. Yeah, there's only <laughs> there's only three crab hors d'oeuvres left, and a guy cocksucker tucked tail with him. Yeah. Who's who's motif is this? Who set this up? Chris and I hung them all, but this yeah. is all his stuff. Yeah. He, if you, if you, if you can imagine, his room is a quarter of the size of this, and all these paintings were in his room. Yeah. Who are you, Bruce Wayne? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is look, that your room in the front? Because uh, I peeked in the window. Yeah. No, no, that's no, Shay's. No, that's, okay. That's yeah. Yeah. Because there's yeah. a conquistador in there. Yes. What are you doing pe yeah. peeking yeah. through windows? I peek. You like, walk up the steps, you ring the doorbell, and that's it. You stop talking to my fucking neighbors, and you stop trying to figure out sideways to get in here. I don't, we got we to gotta get a double lock now. That's it. This is this security. If he's getting in, this is a problem, dude. No, it's we a, got nice paintings up I here. I came we into protect. the doggy door upstairs. <laughs> no, you, can, you can get into any building in this neighborhood if you're like, friend of Tommy's. Yeah. <laughs> you know Tommy from C-Town? Yeah, it's me. I got his amino acids for yeah. him. Is it yeah. that coked up fucking whack ball? Why, why are you saying we that just, about yourself? We just did KFC and everybody's right? saying I'm on coke. Because I was hyped up. It's like sure. the third hour we're there. And you're doing answer the internet, so I just you know I picked it up a bit. But now, I am is fidgety. Is everybody fuck. saying that or a couple of comments? Dude, he people couldn't that stop like blind chapstick that, is the problem. People that enjoy cocaine were probably saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, what about chapstick? He couldn't stop applying chapstick the whole time. Mm. He kept pulling. It's chapstick a nervous out. tick. Yeah. That's how they caught me at my brother's wedding. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a dead ringer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Middle of yeah, summer yeah. I got three coats of fucking yeah, me, Mr. B's on Meanwhile you're, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile you're the best You're the best man On the altar like, Sorry I can't finish the sermon If, you're, if your brother Just continues To put chapstick on <laughs> yeah, chapstick Next time we do anything sword. No chapstick You gotta put the chapstick down I'm a, Don't it, worry about what they say. You guys also did. did that's you guys right. did great, and everybody loved it. From what I, from what I understood, well, it also didn't help that a bunch of pills fell out of your pocket. <laughs> I take multivitamins. You fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, it's multivitamins. I take uh, maca root. Tim Butterly got me into this maca root. Apparently, it helps your sperm. As an older gentleman, Jesus Christ, he's like you shoot ropes and you generate more that's sperm. That's Ukrainian quickly. for Vicodin, by the way. <laughs> Nobody takes vitamins <laughs> in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You psycho. Hey, or you guys yeah. uh, need any maca root? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be more on Foley's side with this. No vitamins. Don't talk to anybody. Nobody takes that yeah. during the day. You're, you you got to start taking vitamins. What are you talking don't. about? This yeah, is yeah, new take you. it in the morning like a human being. No, you got to yeah. take it with a meal. I don't eat till later in the day. I'm not free based. <laughs> you don't wake fucking... up till later in the day. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> you know what? We got a fucking guest here. You yeah. busting my nuts? Yeah. He turns quick. Though. He Look, does, dude. dude. As soon as we fucking start I'm the podcast. I'm talking about you, psycho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's true. Dude, that's as, true. Soon as, as soon as we have a guest over, he dresses up. Look how nice he looks. Uh, this is dressing up for a comic. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Uh, everybody else looks like a fucking cat burglar. He's like been wearing, he's wearing a snow hat. <laughs> <All friends. laughs> I just started kicking these. It's crazy. This. You do your you do your hair. You're considered like a fucking runway model. Yeah, with yeah. all our friends because they, they got like fun of you. they got old cheez its in their belly button sure. and their hair's all fucked up. Looks yeah. like they slept on. I'm a train. trying to up my game these days. I picked this up. I'm on a mall in fucking Waikiki. Yes, dude. Trying to look oh, cool. Oh, how was what? Hawaii? It was nice. Yeah? We had a good time. It's RVCNT. Yeah, what yeah. What is that? My You're a skater. Oh, I don't oh, know. Whatever oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's a big yeah. skater now. Oh, the kids are wearing it on TikTok, so yeah, I'm wearing yeah. it. I'm not going to lie. I still thought I'd love thought to see that you that doing Holly, VCR dude. VCR company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, getting, <laughs> these boys are in everything. Huh? <laughs> yeah, dude, I really did. When I, the first time I saw it. trying to get my beak wet and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try this VCR company spandex, dude. They are <laughs> fucking lights out. That's what I, that's what I, for when I first saw that brand, I was like, oh shit, they're jumping. Yeah. Yeah, they're jumping. Make a hell of an empanada. I can think of that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole world of s- skateboarders that love VCRs, dude. <laughs> No, they do. That was a big part of skateboarding is, you know. Playing movies. back your tapes? Yeah. What are, you, what are you having? And why are you having it out of a little chalice? Yeah, why do This you is do? a quality beer. It's called King Soap. This is for, for beer nuts. They're going to understand this is a very nice beer. This Oh, is, that's why you gave me this. Yeah. That looks nice, too. That's also very nice. That's, that's, 20, like that's twenty five dollars for that. four beers. Is that RVCN? That's great. <laughs> it that's is. That's what it looks like. Visible spectrum by yeah. RVCN. Ooh, that's Finback. That's a Finback's yeah. a good brewery. This yeah. is a wonderful bro. And now is that your very grocery ex- store over there? C Town. If you go to their Instagram page, it's all beer picks. <laughs> I don't the think the guy's a fucking beer. <laughs> is that an IPA? <laughs> I swear to God, yeah, it's a double you IPA. Go to their I think Instagram. you're supposed to drink IPAs out of the can. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think Never. you're supposed to pour them out. No. Never. I, I don't. Out of, out of a can no, or a settles. bottle. This is a nah. tool to, to let it breathe and come to temperature. You're okay. not supposed to drink them cold. You're supposed to drink them like right around room temp. These are room temp. All right, that's yeah. lame. IP, all I know what IP is, you're going to get two in, the, in you quick. You don't yeah. want to get caught in the middle of no man's land. <laughs> Half an IPA. In you. Yeah. Why? Oh, you don't, do you feel like you just got fucking radio, radiation or something? <laughs> <like that? laughs> I say it all the time. I have one IPA. I feel like I just had chemo. It's the best. I need two to get across the river, pay the boat, man, <laughs> keep it moving. Dude, I'm off the vault. You in Houston. Night. You were so fucking funny in Houston, man. We had fun. Oh, my God. Now, Connor saved us. Saved our he lives. He did. Yeah. yeah. You were on like three tabs of acid. You were... You're like the funniest stepdad I've ever what fucked. Fuck? I did, what? I, you know what? what do you dude? work for the school newspaper? What's going on over here? What's the matter? You can see your ass. You did acid here. It's funny. Tommy was on acid as well, <laughs> yes, officer. Dude. All right. But here's the thing. Remember the whole time he was trying to act like he he was giving us the fucking Karen Hill Babe in the Woods routine. <laughs> How long does it usually last? Dude, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't usually take uh, you fucking dirtbag. What are you talking about? I swear to God, I haven't done acid since high school. You, you were tripping the night before on some bootleg Dude, well, molly. Well, that was different. That was mushrooms. And then we had molly. Yeah, we had a nice little, we had a nice little four the days. The first we night we night. were there, we had the worst trip ever. And then we were both were like, we're not Take taking anything the rest of the Take trip. Take it easy. And then we, I, the, the next, I, we go to the skank fest the next night. And the next time I see Tommy, he's like, I'm on two hits. <laughs> I'm flying. Everybody took him. Oh, Dude. it's the best. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody did take him. I know. That was a good yeah. time. It was. I got a new outlook on ass. I'm an acid guy. I was now. a solid <laughs> crew, you guys. I'm an acid guy now. <laughs> that's why I'm dr- that's why I'm Never, in like yeah. Never in a can. Never in a can. I was poured out. Yeah, I, I sit my acid through a you chalice. Can't, you can't start taking acid a lot. I mean, this kid. Oh, Jesus man. Christ. That was huge, too. Well, move the audio equipment. I, no, it's fine. <laughs> well, don't now move it. Yeah. <laughs> what about my headphones? Your whatchamacallits are banged out. That's all right. Aren't they supposed to be waterproof? I don't know. I just got a pair of those. I was a Raycon man. Oh, this is like a real problem. That thing really came spitting out. Well, listen, thanks for having me, fellas. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> And you two live together. Yeah. So this is the routine. Yeah, it's him. It's me cleaning up after all this bullshit. Every we spill, day. We spill a drink every episode. Does Who does the cleaning around here? Tommy? Yes, of course. All of it? All of it. Really? Yeah, Chris doesn't even clean up after his own shit. That's not true. And how many bathrooms are in this joint? Just one. How many bathrooms? Just one. Listen, I know all you garbage is doing well. <laughs> Why don't you calm the fuck down? How many bathrooms? What's the half bath situation? <laughs> yeah, this guy. I got him signing up for my trainer. <coughs> I'm a week in. I know, dude. This is great. This is the new you. The yeah. new you. And you, you're already sending Jim, Jim selfies, which is very exciting. Yeah. You know? You got to let them know you're back, you're back on the fucking yeah. eye of the tiger. Let me, let me tell you, you something. You got to let them coming. You deserve it. You know I what I mean? Saw it, I saw telling you the price of my personal trainer was going to shake you off. And you're like, that's it? 
And that's how I know you're making some good buco bucks. Because you didn't shake. Are you, you didn't... paying that? What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you've done good things. Yeah, well... Tommy's gonna want credit for your lifestyle change, by the way. I give that's Tommy why, all the credit. No, I'm not. Yeah, that's why he keeps bringing it up. He's bringing it. He's I'm bringing it up, up on every I'm, podcast. I'm proud of him. And I'm excited for him. I'm, Let me tell you yeah. something about this man right here. This friend of yours. This this Tommy Pope. Yeah. A lot of a lot of influence over the last couple of years. Remember, uh, we started. Are you garbage? Yep. Um, I introduced the pandemic you. happened. At some point in that summer, you said, "I'm doing a real ass podcast with Lewis." Yeah. Would you want to come in with me? Yes. I came in. We were talking about Are You Garbage? A little, it's like the idea. We did good on the show. He brought me back a couple of times. Yes. Started on the network. Mm. Yep. Things started blossoming from there. This yep. is why I'm expecting a Manet for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> a a Manet? Biggest, uh, what's no it Manet. Yeah, Manet. No. I'm getting the biggest fucking Manet. I'm going to put it right on the television. I'm just going to watch you bleed out of your eyes. No, the best, the best Manet story is... Uh, <laughs> you got a Manet story? I got a Manet story. It's a good How story. How is the cross practice? <laughs> <laughs> 12 Dude. years ago. We called him the bulldog. Dude. <laughs> so, so Manet made, Manet made a painting. There was always, every year there'd be like a exhibition, right? Where all the best painters in France, in Paris would like show their shit. And, uh, are you talking about Paris in the twenties? Yeah. No, no. This is like the late, uh, 1800s. Okay. And, uh, Manet made a sick painting and everyone was like, you're the fucking man. And then for like 10 years, he put up nothing but dog shit. Yeah. And everyone was like, you suck now. Yeah. He got, a, then, he got a tight 10 yeah. minutes and then never wrote a new joke. Yeah. And then one day he walks into the exhibition and they're like, holy shit, dude. Your new painting fucking rules. You're the man. You're back. You're <laughs> yeah. totally back. And he's like, yes, yes. And he walks into the room and everyone's talking about the Monet. Ooh. Oh, They yes. thought it was his. <laughs> <laughs> so just back to the basement, <clears throat> his painting sucked. So he's got one big hit and that's it. Yeah. No, he's got a couple. He's he got to have. He and how are you, such an art history buff? Uh, I wa- he's not. He's no, being no. a jerk off. No, I, I, I got. I got he, did, he probably read one article and he wanted to bring it up today. This to fucking no, I got shove it up your ass. I got two into. So like you collected these from people who moved from upstate. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> nothing <laughs> matches. <laughs> this is every apartment on the fucking curb during trash night. I got I got too into politics and I just started watching like uh, document art history documentaries for a while. Okay. And uh, there's a dude Walt Walt is like his name is like Walter Saz Janzuzak, and he's crazy and he does great docs. Okay. And that's how I found out about nice. that story. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, took an art history good. class in college. You did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. How to I go? didn't learn anything. Flunked it. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Where'd you go to college? I'm not a fucking nerd. Millersville. <laughs> <laughs> Monet stories. <laughs> 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 Yeah. He's got oh, personalized Monet That's stories. a fun story. That is you got fun. any fun stories about Picasso? <laughs> 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 Holy shit, Paul. You want to lay down over here? <laughs> Take a heart attack and get out of here. <laughs> How's the training going? It's good, right? <clears throat> Training's going good, boys. Yeah? It's going good. Um, it's fantastic. A uh, month into therapy. A week in with, uh, with, with uh, Ferg? King Ferg. Yeah. He's great. Um, Sweet boy, isn't he? Yeah, I've backed myself into a corner of... Accountability. Yeah. Oh, that's why no. what's different now. Well, that's because he's up my ass. Yeah, I got an app. I I don't want to let him down. I don't want to let the boys. That's down. it. I'm that's good. all you're paying for. That's yeah. what I say. I've backed myself into a corner, so it's good. Yeah, it's great. Jim's great. Yeah, it Love is. That Tommy got me into club. it too. Yeah. Tommy right. got me, but I was in a deep depression. You too. were, and you're and fucking Tom glowing w. orb now, it's dude. True. You look great. It's clinical <laughs> depression. Uh, well, I, no one had studied me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't Shane think Shane and I did a, little, did a little research. You wake up, Tommy and Shane have lab coats on. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to put this mouse in your ass. Yeah, put this electronic circuit on your fucking skull. Yeah. But No, yeah. there, there were some dark times there for you. Yeah. And me as well. Sleeping all day. Well, yeah. the first like three months you lived in this apartment, I didn't know you at all. Yeah. I only knew you from Philly. We honestly didn't know each other until like two months ago. Until Shane. We <laughs> lived together for like a year. Yeah. And yeah. Wait, why? Right. Tell me that. Well, we never like hung out the yeah. way we do now. Now we're yeah. aces. But like before, he would go from his bedroom to the kitchen. I'd hear him scurry around like a little mouse. <laughs> when was this? He'd fucking eat. This is six months ago. Yeah, yeah. Six months six ago. Months. This man. Yeah, this man was in a cave. His room was. So this is post uh, pandemic. Yeah. Okay. The whole pandemic and post pandemic, for the most part, yeah, it was did. a big eighteen month run yeah. for you, dude. <laughs> it was the Sopranos brought us together. Yeah, <laughs> it did. Nice <laughs> I tell you what, Sopranos will yeah. heal all Bro. everything that wounds you. Yeah. 
<laughs> fucking it's throw so that chill. in. Yeah. We're almost done though. We're on like six B's. Oh, so once yeah. that's over, you're back to your fucking room, <laughs> no. and I'm gonna hate you. Yeah, we got really. Si- I new. can't do the last couple last season. Yeah. That and Seinfeld, because I start getting anxiety that's gonna. No, be it's over. over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It sucks. Dude, we were we just did the KFC radio uh, podcast, and Fiedelberg told a story that I I'll never oh not tell. God. It's so fucking funny. Him and his buddy used to get all coked up. And order a hooker, order a hooker yeah. just to watch Sopranos. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So the woman would come in, <laughs> and then they would just watch turn one Sopranos episode. on. Yeah. yeah, one episode, and then tell her to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, he, he told her no he, sex. He told us that too. Yeah, that, that she would be like freaked out for the first couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like fucks with these guys, and all of a sudden, like, oh, all right, here settle we go. in. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. share popcorn. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Find out what happens with Pio Mai. You know what I mean? We're gonna what? do that. For, Once if we, we get, get over a thousand, thousand patrons, thousand subs. We're gonna get a hooker and watch the thousand patrons. We're gonna order a hooker. All yacked up on blow. No, well, no. I don't do that. Submit stuff. my number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it's Foley with a wig. <laughs> Foley's like, hey, boys. <laughs> Which one is the art lover? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Am I blowing Manet or Tommy? Dude, this is, you know, it's... Wait, weird. hold on. Stop. Yeah. Six months. That's it. You guys have, you, you guys have been boys. You, what were you doing? Probably no, less we, than that. Like three. We've known each other Four. for for a decade. Yeah, yeah. Right. But he was close with, with Shane. I never, I was in our, our generation or whatever the fuck of comics was just above him. So we never, we never hung out. We never were close. And then when he first moved here, like I said, he was like a goofy fucking animal. I was a recluse. Yeah, you were recluse. Tommy's a big homebody. So you want to know who's in the home. 100%. Tommy likes to make dinner. Yeah. Keep it clean. Yeah. He builds a home. around. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So what did you do while he was doing that? In my room. Break in the home. Because there's my nothing room weirder when you're art. cooking yeah. and you're and, and and you have roommates that you're not that that close with. with. Oh, it's oh it makes the chili taste different. Ah, oh, hey man, you want some? Yeah, and you have to pretend like, <laughs> do you want a plate? And like, absolutely. That's what I do. My girl, <laughs> <laughs> that was you. My girlfriend got lover. She stuck with me through situations like that. Yeah. With like, it was me, her in a room, and then like a buddy's uncle. Yeah. The, <laughs> I swear to God, in the apartment. <laughs> Fucking brutal no way. <laughs> yeah, we'd be sitting there like trying to have dinner, and like all of a sudden, like, what's going on out there? Oh my god! Yeah, was he a pillhead? Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually, an, if an uncle's staying with you, he's a pillhead. <laughs> Definitely. There's he no, has, there's no he has sober, some issues. There's no sober uncle in the basement. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so, Just got my taxes done. Yeah. Every time you hear the door rattle, you're like, here he comes. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad situation. Yeah, it's like a drunk dad coming home when you hear the the knob rattle. You're like, We're, somebody's going to get hit or yelled at. <laughs> right. <laughs> you hear an uncle come up the steps from the basement where he's sleeping, and you're like, da. You get all weird shit. Did you ever come you up know, with like a gift? You know for what's your dad? coming. Uh, for, what do you mean? If you came home drunk. A gift? Yeah, yeah. Just Wait, to like what? Cool the gift out. was cool disappearing. Out? What? No, was going up to your room and fucking shut the door. If if uh, my dad wasn't a big drunk, but he'd come home pissed sometimes, I'd always try to have like a you know good grade. Yeah. Look at this paper. Yeah. Yeah. You, you try and really? shake him up. Yeah, but I didn't have many of those. So that did it ever was... work? What? Did it work? Yeah. Show him your scars. He knew what I was up to. <laughs> Show him your back scars. Yeah. <laughs> You knew what I was you're, make, you're making up classes. I got an A in calligraphy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad, I'm in the art history. He's like, get in the basement, you fucking queer. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey. Boy, no. Um, no, but like, so even if he was pissed, <laughs> you would just create. Obviously, you don't have a graded paper every fucking time you're down. No, no, home. you don't. Yeah. So how do you. How do you throw him off the scent of beating your ass? Basement time. Yeah. yeah Why, yeah. would he beat your ass? Uh, no, 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 no. It's just a vibe. Oh. My dad, my dad, my dad, uh, my dad, like, stopped, like, millions of years of fathers beating their kids. You yeah. Know what I mean? Really? Yeah, he was the guy. He was, and, like. Why, he got his ass beat? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was yeah, that, yeah. was that. A booze hound? Yeah, yeah, big. Nice. He was like from Ireland. A Damn, drunk, drunk carpenter. No Come art on up. the walls yeah, in that yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no. why you like the paintings. Yeah, because yeah. it covers up all the holes that were. <laughs> Dude, no shit, no shit. The Eagle, each one of I'm not kidding you, Foley. There's a hole right there. That's from an Eagles loss. <laughs> that I got a taunt from from my ex girlfriend that I threw my keys right behind the television. There's a hole. Your keys? Yeah, I threw, my, car, drywall? I threw my, my, uh, my, my house keys from the bathroom. You Kids got an arm on them, though. Huh? Launch. I, know, I do got a hose, dude. When do you see the wintertime? You're going to see a, a snowball launch off. <laughs> yeah. 
And the, yeah. yeah, that was the one we were hanging out smoking cigarettes, and you were like, "You want to have a snowball competition?" Yeah. <laughs> you before that? you were friends, this guy, you yeah, guys yeah, yeah. Over the probably, I'm probably knew I could fuck him up that way. Tommy, <laughs> without using my hands. Fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Shane brought you guys together. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now he's a different man, though. He's a different man. He it's didn't true. used to be like this. Is that true? It's true. Yeah. yeah. He's joyful. He's in shape. Yeah. You're getting there. Yeah, his legs are starting to straighten out because of his happiness. No, no, no. no, no, no. What was the depression? (laughs) Can you put your finger on Um, it? You know what? It's just waking up with nothing to do. Okay. And then not having motivation to do anything. And then, you know, it's like you have those cycles where it's like you have sets and shit that are good. And you're like, you know what? This is going to work out. Sure. This is going to work out. I'm going to be all right. Yeah. And then, you know, that doesn't happen for a little while. And you're like, I'm fucked. Yeah. Yeah, I got got nothing. nothing going. Yeah. There's you start doing a five-year lookout, and you're like, I've am got, I doing got, any n- of the right shit? Yeah, I've got no work ethic. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to even turn this around. You know what I mean? I might just die without ever putting effort into it. <laughs> you know Holy funny guy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about to, you know? I'm about to disappear into my bedroom like, right uh, now. Just, just, just looking into the void and being like, how, how yeah. deep does my laziness go? Yeah. See all these plants? <laughs> they used to be dead from Chris walking by them. <laughs> you hear Tommy out there making a ragu singing. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck. So I guess it, yeah. I mean, but you, this is a compliment to you. You're a different boy. It's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting great. Well, I'll slide back. You into got a it. nice glow. I'll slide back. <laughs> into it. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Right after the holidays. Set like, your watch like to slide into a good depression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you? Was yours was yours clinical? <clears throat> Did you get? <clears throat> no, I, I wouldn't. I mean, not. To, I mean, I'm in therapy right now, but I'm real real careful about that because like people that are like clinically, like clinically have shit. They're like real fucked up. Yeah. What's I, the difference I, between? I mean, like when you really, really. I mean, to say you're depressed, that people get depressed, people get bummed out or whatever. But like to be like clinically depressed. Yeah. I don't think you just pop out of that. You shit. mean the hardwired, where you have to take medication to even think. Hardwired, take medication, see Ooh. a psychiatrist, not a psychologist. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's like chemical. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pure chemical. Yeah. I mean, I think I definitely have some chemical uh, yeah. miswire. It's like saying you're nuts versus being actually bipolar. Exactly. Yeah. It's saying, well, I got yeah. crazy thoughts. It's like, yeah, do you, do you take lithium in the morning? To exactly. Your OJ? Which a lot of people throw that around these days for street credit. 100%. You know what I mean? Bipolar is now the the ADHD. When we were growing up, everyone was like, I have ADD or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now, I definitely have Now ADD. everybody's got bipolar disorder. It's like, get the fuck out of here. You grow up with somebody that, with bipolar, you... <laughs> what? What is so funny about this? <laughs> Because <laughs> for a second there, we were having sort of like an empathetic, normal conversation about depression. <laughs> Everyone's fucking bipolar now. <laughs> you got to I can't cross it. the street without running into I can't somebody. place a bet in a Little League game because I don't know if the kid's fucking bipolar or not. It's true, though. I don't know which pitcher's showing up. <laughs> <laughs> the lefty or the righty. <laughs> No, they, the reason everybody was ADHD, we were kids, because they wanted to move that Ritalin. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Fucking sell that shit. Yeah. Well, that Idiots. was after us. The ADHD was when we were like teenagers. I you got Ritalin. They mistakenly gave me Ritalin. When, college? College. That's when it first came out for us. Yeah. Yeah. They, nice. Because I was not doing good in school. And uh-huh. They, went, they thought it was that, huh? They tested me, yeah. <laughs> And we, it was right before winter break. They handed me like I got. They like test a, you. What do you got? You just answer a question by doing jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> like here's pills. This kid's fucking nuts. Yeah. I don't know what doctor he went to. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you do. That was the big thing. You got extra time on the test. Yeah. That oh, I didn't get. Eight. Yeah. They just they gave me one. I'm telling you what happened. They gave me one bottle of Ritalin, and that was it. Because we were going to Penn State for New Year's, and I took it with me, and we did it all. In literally like 48 hours. <laughs> what, a whole month's worth? Like a whole month's worth. <laughs> and I went back and my parents were like, what the fuck? I read nine books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, I don't know. This stuff's not really working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched four episodes with a hooker. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I'm excited to do that, though. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. That'll be great. I mean, you had the, the, the fear in a woman's... Heart and mind. No, if we'll make you... her feel comfortable pretty quick. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Is that yeah. what you like, you sicko? No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm I saying like. your fear. <laughs> hey, Wolverine. I want to make this bitch shake. Bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Got to put on an episode where someone gets killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just all beheading <laughs> compilation. <laughs> when Ralphie beats when Ralphie kills the the, the, the horse, the stripper. Uh, we sit oh, down. Yeah, yeah. We sit her down. We just watch chaotic for an hour. <laughs> just all murder vids. Oh my! Be weird. God. You put on Frasier. Hi, yeah. How are you? Yeah, just look at him like you got 15 minutes left. <laughs> You want to? You want How's to the it? relationship in the apartment now? Everything's good. Mm-hmm. Everybody's settling in. Yeah, it's yeah I think we're doing good. It's glorious. It's such a weird thing being in this industry with you know adults and mm-hmm. living with people. Like I think about my father. This, this yeah, age. but you can't. And this is you got this. You guys are so lucky. Yeah, you're all you're all best friends, right? Yeah, it's nice. That's what I say sometimes. It helps. It's nice and cozy. Once every six months. It'd be hard to leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. It's very hard. Was that a sneeze? I don't yeah. know. I think that's Shane making fun of us in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. It's Shane laughing at us in the kitchen. Speaking of snowball fights, <laughs> where are you off to, Buckaroo? <laughs> <laughs> what? You got a good vibe in here. I can't compliment. Nah, we don't like compliments like that, yeah. dude. No <laughs> yeah, you got to be fucking aggressive and, and angry. Where are you guys most going? of the time? Sorry, I'm ruining this. Market. Do you want to no, sit in? Not. Oh, okay. What's Zin? Red Zinc? Zin? Like Zinfandel? No, like uh, this, nicotine. Oh. Ah. My, my lady made some sangria. I oh. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's fire yeah. it up. Look yeah. at that. Making sangria. Yes. It's nice. I'm taking this one off. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. It looks good. That'd be good. great. Like, it looks good. Yeah, that'd be great. Or neighbor. I won't. <laughs> she must remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> What's she saying? Don't show her or say yeah. her name. Can you not hear? What? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I got headphones he on. I can hear I him fine. I can't tell. If he, uh, <laughs> I checked out for a minute. I'm yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be honest. I was somewhere else. <laughs> I was thinking about my park spot. <laughs> How far my parking spot is. Fucking brutal over here. Yeah, it's yeah. nuts. It's a nice neighborhood, though. Yeah. That one house right there on the corner is pretty nice. Somebody's got a couple of bucks. There's got to be a couple of mob the guys. The apartment mixed complex? Piacito? No, right the other way. The other the other way on the corner, it's a it's it, like two brownstones together. No, I'm okay. Thank you so two, much. Two is fine. No, I'm I I'm gonna spill it again. Just use your hands the way other I people can't. do. I fumble. Um, What's yeah, this no, the podcast parking, about the, what? What's it about? <laughs> What's the podcast? This is it. We're doing it. This is what it's about. Yeah, this is it. All no, right, take it here, easy. The parking I here, asked a question. People are animals. They don't. They don't park up to the <laughs> the curb cut out. <laughs> they don't park up to the. We're going to start out. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a quiz game show. <laughs> Fast <laughs> trivia. Yeah, we're, we're waiting on the wheel. Come, dude. We had a malfunction on the wheel last week. What's this show about? This fucking guy. Yeah. You know what I mean. No, There's one show here. out of a thousand that actually have a theme, and this motherfucker's asking us what our show's about. <laughs> Forty five minutes in. But so anyway, what do you guys uh, what do you guys do here? What this do we do? It. The this fucking balls. You know what we do? We, 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 get, we get a lady to serve you sangria and you shut it it's down very sweet. like an animal. I'm driving. That's why I can't have it. You can have a sip of sangria. How far are you driving? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Spoken like a true yeah. booze bag. You could do fucking, you do three hits <laughs> of acid. It's perfect. Run around Houston. You can't it, have a sip of fucking wine. It's the perfect thing to do when you're starting to turn your life around. Just <laughs> get a fucking DUI. That's true. <laughs> Slap a nice Dewey under the resume. <laughs> That would look real good. That's on the paper. best part yeah. about our industry, though. That shit would just, that would only yeah. boost you. You know, do we? Yeah, it's like it's like a, a rapper getting arrested. You no. know, it just it ups your street cred. Stop no. saying industry. What? What do you mean? <laughs> That's what we are. We're in an industry. No, we're not. What are you talking about? Does this look industrial? Not this fucking show, you dickhead. Everything we do is an industry. No, it's we're, entertainment we're industry. We're not part of the industry. When you file your taxes, don't you pick an industry? No. <laughs> I don't. Never because your dad does your taxes. <laughs> Puts art lover. Oh yeah, we got to get back to that. Yeah. No. Yeah. His what dad, is that? Yeah, his dad tuning him up. His dad. All his dad did was he probably put his eyebrow down, and Chris was like, "Oh fuck you!" <laughs> fuck he never you. hit you. He never fucking smacked yeah, you a couple times. He gave you the belt, but he didn't come home every night. What's he doing? Sleeping? And hit, no, and, and, good and, hit me, and hit me. <laughs> and hit me. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah yeah. No, he just was always vibrating at a frequency that was like, I want to hit. I don't really know how else to address this. Tread lightly. So I'm working on it. Yeah. He, he had like, uh, yeah, you know. Like, he put the kibosh on it. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Th- those cycles don't end. You could see, you could see that. You could see like Hodor in his eyes for sure. You Who's know, Hodor? The guy in the From, uh, Game of Thrones Game holding of Thrones. back like all the, the demons. It's, it's yeah. short for hold the door. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was Yeah, just... one time I wrote a sketch. Uh, this is so embarrassing. Yeah. 
a sketch uh, called Hado. Oh, Hado, hey, hey yeah, and it was it was a a, a spoof on that because Hodor, they have. I a, never saw Game of Thrones. All right, yeah. So very quickly, it's this giant waterhead mongoloid that, that can't speak. All he says is Hado. <laughs> he says. <laughs> All of that was so wrong. <laughs> and I've never seen the show. Well, no, he's, look, he's a dude that looks like he eats refrigerators. He's a fucking giant. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> Just imagine a giant fucking guy with no IQ. Jesus Christ. I don't want to say the R word. I know, I know. He's but a fucking you hit a couple oh, other ones. Yes. Well, you did a real good job of cleaning it I'm up. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to. A waterhead. That was a one offensive thing that you did. A waterhead. What the I think fuck? the R word is actually. Oh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying yeah. to dodge it. Oh my god! So anyway, this guy is—he's you know, you know not talking about. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's holding a helmet all the time. You know what I'm saying? Right? I didn't want to call him a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he's holding the door from all these enemies, killing his buddies, basically. All right. Okay. And it, it's so traumatizing. He he keeps saying, uh, "Hold the door! Hold 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 the door!" Hodor. Is what this the character's Hodor. name? Is Hodor? Hodor. Yeah, that's what they call him because that's the only thing he can so say. So something happens and triggers his mind that he can only say Hodor instead of hold the door because of this traumatic event, right? Oh, okay. The idea was <laughs> this, this sketch. I got all fucked up and I wrote it down. I was like, this is fucking genius, dude. This is so fucking genius. It's an Italian guy who says, hey, Don. <laughs> but he says, hey, Don. Hey, Don. Hey, Don. And he's like a bouncer. And there was a situation where he's trying to stop these people from fighting at a, at a, at a, at a bar. Yeah. And he say, he keeps saying, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't. I just and it just you. morphs into just an Italian. And I woke up the next morning and was like, Jesus Christ, what was I doing last night? You like scribbled it. In the oh, yeah, yeah. Like this yeah. is genius. Gold. Picture genius. you sitting there hand pecking on final draft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laughing yeah. to yourself. Sun's coming up. I got socks on my hands. I'm in the, I'm in the backyard for some fucking reason. Uh, uh, how many? I mean, how many? You know, terrible jokes do you remember writing down in a book on your? Oh my god! On your so laptop, many, so many. Where you get like douche chills beyond belief. It's yeah, like, it's gut wrenchingly embarrassing. Like yeah. I, I almost said that. I do a lot of voice to text in my like just so I can try to say it the way I would say it. Yeah. So I put it in my notes, voice to text. It's mayhem. Yeah, you look at the next day like, what the fuck? What the, I can't even connect where I would even start the premise. When you get in that like writer's mode and you got a couple of drinks in you and you're just talking into the phone, man, you go back and look at that. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. I know. And the energy when you're putting it down is like. This is what separates me from everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is, this is, is what will is, get me out of my of bedroom <laughs> for six months. <laughs> yeah. like Stephen this Pressfield, the or whatever his name was. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Art of War or the War of Art. Oh. Yo, this is wonderful. I thought that was Sun Tzu. Uh, Art of War is Sun Tzu. Okay. The War of Art is Stephen Pressfield. Okay. You is, should know this, dude. It's about art. I don't know. I, I just watched a couple of documentaries. No, it's just one it's, Monet. It's story. about just what you said. Like the real artist will think of something and actually take the minute to write it down, or normal people just yeah. forget about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I find myself doing that a lot too. I just like don't write something down. It feels better because then, like, you write something down, then you look at it the next day. You go, "I'm a f idiot." Mm -hmm. If you don't write it down, the next day you go, "I forgot that fucking. It's a genius bit." Yeah, but I forgot it. I just need to work a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> just got to get up before noon. If I only yeah, had yeah. a pen. You know, I got to start writing. I got to start writing stuff down. <laughs> yeah. They what say you, if you forget it, it wasn't that good. What are you buying these days? With buying? Your, yeah, with your new money. I'm not buying anything. You're not getting nothing. No. There's, you're not itching for anything. Come uh, on. The you trainer is is what he is. That's your first purchase. No. Trainer's what he is. The shrink ain't cheap. Mm. Um, you're not doing the comedy shrink that everybody goes no. to. No. Fuck that. Go yeah, to a I got turned point. off by him, to be honest yeah. with you. I texted no. him. I, don't I heard bad response. things. The first thing I do is slap the shit out of him. I didn't like it. Really? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a fan. I hear he's disrespectful. I hear he's a real fucking dickhead. I yeah. like that. <clears throat> I like that. I got yeah. a nice Italian. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's like talking to your dad about shit that you care about. I, well, you know. You I ever tell your dad something you care about? And he's like, what do what you, you doing? All the time. Oh, <laughs> All the time. It's a thing I'm still working through. Yeah. Which is being able to share anything with anyone that I like. Yeah. Because anytime I shared something with like my family, <laughs> they'd be like, that's dumb. Yeah. And then I'd be like, well, I guess I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yeah. 
I guess I have nothing sucks. to offer my Hold on. Was it the Monet story? <laughs> <laughs> it was. If that's the case. <laughs> I'm on dad's side. <laughs> No wonder this dude's working 12 hour shifts and every day he's gonna go my kid's gonna talk about fucking Manet again the whole oh. time they thought it was bad yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. my wife's gonna make egg noodles my on? kid's gonna talk about art you know as people in the industry I thought you'd relate to that story yeah. right? you know who, you that's know an industry art's an industry it is an industry we are in the entertainment industry Chris I, I don't thought know I was talking to artists Jesus Christ Very you, know, you know what movie does exactly what you're talking about so well Ah, uh, so it might be a deep cut. You ever see Sleepers? Oh, one Bruno movie. Kirby. Yeah, the great Bruno Kirby plays Patrick. Uh, what's his name? The great Bruno Patrick, Kirby. Uh, Jason Patrick mm. plays his dad. He goes to see him. He's super repressed. He's sitting there. The mom's got like a black eye. She's serving spaghetti. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. The dad's like, so "How's it going? Everything's good. Huh? Everything's going good." And he's like, "Yeah, everything's good, Pop." You know, he does like the light breeze over. He's like, "Yeah, well, what's going on?" And he starts to tell him. He's like, "Oh, yes, everything's good." Like yeah. he cuts oh, it off. Yeah. Doesn't want to yeah, hear it. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. Oh. I, that always stuck with me. Like, oh fuck. Yeah, dude. That's every... I got a friend like that. Oh I yeah. I got a friend like that. Like he'll... a friend. Yeah. Well, he's not really a friend. He's a family member type thing. Okay. Where it's like, I'm not going to say his fucking name because he doesn't know how disrespectful he is. But like, you can genuinely ask, like, you know, how you doing? Yeah. And then he'll go off, with, and then just disappear into his own bullshit when you start talking about something ah. you care about. Like z- people that don't give you advice in life or can't offer you advice from experience, they don't exist in my life. I think those are two different things. One is our dads not being our dads in our hundred percent different things, not being able to process their emotions. Yes, yes. To be like, wait, what's going on? Are you okay? Right. You know I mean? But you could see I that mean, at a younger age. Yeah. There are people I've come across that I could be friends with that I choose not to because they act like a dad in certain circumstances where they just choose to jump out instead of sit in and, and feel something hmm. and offer you uh, a, their perspective due to experience. There's a lot of people in our industry. <laughs> it's difficult that when, have, he, when, that he, have when never, he goes serious yeah. because it seems funny. It does. But that was yeah. a very genuine, sweet moment. And I yeah, feel like this. This is, why, this is why we're close. The, the road trips that we have go to, going to the Eagles games and, and on the road and stuff, mm-hmm. we have an ability to tap into each other's emotions sure. without the bullshit of we deflection. Talk. Yeah. Yeah. And without feeling tough, all that bullshit, which I'm capable of. But yeah. at the same time, it's like you want someone. I got a, a, a genuine concern about something in my life. Mm-hmm. And I want your genuine Concern as well, but also opinion based on your relative experience in that area. Sure. If I'm asking that of you, I trust you, right. I love you, and I and I actually appreciate your past experience with something like that. Right. I if you don't you. have shut up in there, <laughs> if you don't have, if you don't have any of that, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, if you don't have any of that, then you're not going to get close enough to me. You're not going to sure. get within arm's reach of my of my heart. Sure. If you've never, if I feel like you've never experienced enough to give me. Experience. And it's selfish to think, but like all my close friends have been through something, or I value their emotional value their accessibility. Opinion. Yeah, well, you also have to you have to be someone who's got enough um, intelligence, life to, experience. Yeah. Well, that's li- People have a lot of life experience, but they have they're completely incapable of analyzing it in any kind of interesting way. Great point. You know what I mean? There's there's certain people that like can get enough distance from yeah. themselves. I don't know how you describe it, but it's like yeah. they can actually kind of like. Give an appraisal of their experience that's 100%. worth listening to. Yeah, I don't gotcha. hang around with any hodors, is what he's saying. Gotcha. No waterheads in my circle. I don't know. We got that. a couple. I think it's worse. <laughs> you got a couple. I think it's. I you think got it's, a bunch of hodors, dude. I think it's. I more can s- fucking rattle. I like a good hodor. Dude. More self-absorption than being simple. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. People that can't. People that can't do it. I th- I think it's the intellect. What does Jack Harlow say? People who can't stare at reflections. Is that a pretty good line? Look at me. You guys are giving me shit about my Monet story. Look at all these. Talking about Jack Harlow. Kid Jack Har- is on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, really? Jack Harlow? Yeah. He's a wig. I've never heard of him. What? He's a rapper. He's a oh, rapper. I've never heard of him. <laughs> I probably heard his music, but I, I don't know what yeah, you're talking let's about. Let's let that go. <laughs> Tommy, from a different time. <laughs> yeah, <why not>? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping you'd pull out. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's a white rapper. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, no, he's part of the Continental Congress. You wore a wig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of respect. You know, he was just signed just above John Hancock with Jack Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Carlo. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> <laughs> Sup. Oh, dude. So how are you garbage, man? This is fucking... I don't really need to promote that on this on this channel here, but... 
How's it going? It's going great. Then thank you for asking. Thank you for both. What's next? For being on it. What's next <laughs> What's is. What's next for you? It is. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good question. We got a next. We got a next. Uh, December 21st, we are going to be dropping a, um, a special, which is. So we did a 17 city tour. Yeah. 17, 18 cities this uh, summer and fall. And we, um, we do stand up. And then at the end of the show, for the last half hour, Kevin and I go on stage together and we answer garbage questions. Yeah. There's an email in the beginning. Um, we put out little pieces, you know, five minute clip here, five minute clip there, a couple of clips on social media. But now we're doing a full, like, half hour special of, of all that, of the that whole, of the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Some behind the scenes shit, stuff like that. December 21st, it's going to be awesome. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube page, subscribe to the RU Garbage YouTube page and you know exactly when it comes out. Because even if you're not a fan of the show, who's not people a fan? are going to be able to relate to it. Uh, who's not a mean? fan of that show? That show is, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's I'm saying if you didn't, if they're know not a fan, they just haven't seen it. If you didn't show. know the show, you could. It's a standalone thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's good. And that's why he's talking shit about us. He's like, "What do you guys do here?" What, Remember yeah, his well, comment well, earlier? We don't, we don't have like a weird. No, corner. I didn't that's say it like that. I was just curious. That's what he meant. We need. You could have easily said no. something. We need a theme. No, Chris. we just talk. We, no, you don't, we don't need, need a theme. theme. Not at all. We don't this is what theme. he's doing. Not at all. What? He's not now. He's not being emotionally available like my one of my best friends, and he's he's deflecting. Look at look at his time. He's got to get out of here already. His jet ski is gonna pull up any moment. He's gonna fucking problem. skedaddle. Tell you see, what's Tommy's right upset now. that you have a next. Paranoid. What? This man's obviously on Dude, Tommy cocaine. gets very paranoid. When he gets fucked up. <laughs> oh, he shit. gets a couple. Of... <laughs> Should see me after a couple of fucking rippers. In the, Tommy in gets the so ice. suspicious. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy under... got in a fight at Delilah's the other night because they thought he, he thought he was giving he was them fake giving me, bills. She gave me fake fucking bills. She did. I don't know. Oh, after the, we, yo. He wasn't able to produce evidence. <laughs> hold on. A he second. was not able to Wait, produce evidence. I'm gonna give this a very. When were you in Delilah's? Exactly. Great question. I'm gonna... <laughs> last night. <laughs> it's a long story. Last night. That's <laughs> how I ripped my shirt. What the fuck? No, no. So uh, it, this was after an Eagles game. It was me, him, and, and Andrew. Yesterday? Sant no. Oh, no. Two no. Sundays ago. After the Eagles game, uh, me, him, and Andrew Santino. What? A fortnight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that really what it is? Yeah, I think so. Too, how yeah. long is a fortnight? Two weeks. Two weeks? Is yeah. it? Yeah. Is that from Lincoln? <laughs> Lincoln's? I don't know. It was car? In, it was in a speech. So, no, it was four so I'm giving Santino though. <laughs> Stop kicking that, dude. You're moving the camera. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So, so it's me. Pull it carpet it's back. Me. It's Andy Fortin that I was talking to my wife. And, uh... <laughs> hey, you guys, attention here. It was me. It was me, Santino, and Chris, and we went to the Eagles game, and I was like, well, typically. After <laughs> Not for me. I was just like, what if, what if, you know. I don't know how you guys do it on the West Coast. I haven't been there in a long time. No, this was our plan since we got a strong buzz gun. We like to push it as hard as we can, yeah. despite it being we a said it. We, we had whiskey. We were drinking whiskeys instead of beers at the game, so we were like, <laughs> let's go to a titty joint. Yeah. And we went in there. Uh, how is Delilah's these days? It was disgusting. It was it's great. like every strip it was joint. Great. Attractive uh, it was ladies? Great. No. Yeah. Sunday Good night. conversation. <laughs> you yeah. don't get Sunday night shifts. <laughs> you don't get Sunday night shifts. Wait, Sunday night? That's peak after an Eagles game? Yeah. You, that's big money. You dude. think. It so wasn't Tommy cool. was unhappy with the. It was six dudes, five jerseys in the whole fucking place. Uh, yeah, Tommy had tunnel vision. I don't think your appraisal of Listen, the room was. Here's what happened. I already said it. I already said it on this on this on this podcast a couple weeks ago. I went to go take a two hundred bucks out. They charged me forty dollar ATM fee. Forty fucking dollars. Okay. So I'm already hot. Shit, I would have been blocking you. No, you're good. Time. I'm already fucking hot. I'm already hot going nuts. I get two hundred and forty bucks out or two or two hundred dollars out. I give her a hundred dollars. I'm like, Can you cash this? She gets this fucking she's all yacked out of her skull looking like me. Is she a bartender KFC. or a stripper? Bartender. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> she's a left hand and a right hand. You weren't negotiating. She's a, bi she's a bipolar stripper. She can bartend and, and dance. You weren't negotiating a lap dancer. This was not like a that. negotiation. Right. This yeah. also, we need to like rush him on this fucking <laughs> story. This is a what? I just, you, you familiar with the movie Rashomon? 
What is that? I'm just saying that from her perspective. Hey, I nerd alert, zip it. We're Jesus talking about Christ. titties over here. What a way to throw Jesus a, Jesus what a, way to throw a I'm shoe horn in. You're fucking what? hammered. You're fucking so hammered you can't tell real from fake bills. And you're going up and saying a lady's yacked out. I was She's oh, I see it. the situation. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. seeing through this rose-colored story <laughs> he's presenting. This with is his real. glasses this is and his tweed this, jacket on. Yo, this is fucking real. I and then it. I simply <laughs> said to the young lady, you <laughs> fucking whore, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding you. <laughs> Try to pull that shit with me. Huh? Where do you got this game in the airport? <laughs> I know what's going on. Literally. I mean, very, very. Uh, I'm sorry, madam. Do you happen to have change for 100? <laughs> very close. Very close. She goes, I get. So she gives me 60 bucks. I'll have an Aperol spritz. Can you, can you bring a $1,000 bill, please? Yeah. Let me say something. We weren't drinking sangrias. <laughs> I get my sixty dollars. I get upset because I, I went back. I started, I started funneling twenty dollars for everybody just to, to, you know, have fun. And I'm like sixty bucks. And I look at my pocket. I got a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, you only gave me sixty dollars. And she's like, I gave you a fucking sixty. Or she's like, I gave you a hundred dollars. I'm like, you only give me sixty. Recount. Give me my forty dollars. I'm like, it's going back to you. I'll give you fucking twenty of it right now. Go, go give me my forty bucks. She calls the manager. The manager's like, we're going to have to count the whole till. I'm like, count the fucking till. Count the till. That was weird. <laughs> All this is happening on the other side of the bar. Man, Santino, you know, and I, Santino and I at this point are just sitting there. Staring at like me. The, the, yelling at the manager. We're there so the early. We're there, we're, we were there at like 6. The show has barely even started yet, and there's nobody there. So the think, show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Chris, Chris's first time. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Dude, that's three <laughs> strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Chris, the new guy? Yeah, Chris is in a high chair going, when does the sparklers come out? <laughs> no, I got, heard Aaron they got Sorkin me a fire wrote engine. This. They got me a little <laughs> fire engine seat to sit in. Yeah. He's in a power <laughs> wheels. <laughs> First time seeing a pair of titties, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the show. People keep coming over. <laughs> when does the show start? <laughs> Meanwhile, the lady's like, do you want me to do coke off your dick or no? That's the show. People are keep coming over to us and being like, what's going on with your boy? Is he like, all right? Yeah. <laughs> We're just hearing news from this. And from well, beyond. Then the the, we got one more drink and we skid out. You never want to hear your friend yelling at the other end of the bar. Go ahead, count the tell. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, count the tell. So true, dude. First I got all, time. No, I got nothing but time. I was yeah. fired the fuck up. And did they count the tell? They did. And? Oh. Didn't come out in Tommy's he favor. Said- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he said, he said it all added up. <laughs> And I still don't think it adds up. Dude, at one point, <laughs> like, Santino are trying to, like, all right, guys, let's come back together as a group. Let's figure out what we can do here. And, uh, and, and he's like, he's like, look at these bills. They're fake. And I'm, like, pretty hammered. I'm going through them like, Damn, dude, they not look old. fucking real I counted me. three fucking bills that were, dude, you should have seen the color. Under the black lights where are the, before the show, you could see the color difference in the dollars. And I was like, feel this. It felt like. Where, where are these bills now? I threw them. I think there was. I got upset. I, yeah, I tossed. Them. I honestly think there was just tape on one of the bills. There wasn't just tape on one of the bills. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> real fucking dickhead. Making a real good impression on your guy. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> this is a real Shamasan situation. <laughs> what a fucking dildo. Was that the first time you met Santino? <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah. Talking about strippers. This is a real Shamasan situation. <laughs> you guys never seen Shamasan? <laughs> it's rock. <Rashomon. laughs> it's part of the criterion. Collection. It's almost like the Rorschach test. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This fucking virgin. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> so how was the show? We didn't yeah. see it. We Every one of us took money out, paid a $40 ATM <laughs> fee, and then we left. Wow, really? Because yeah. it was late? We all, as <laughs> yeah. soon as we walked outside, you just saw everybody Bounce. dispersed a different yeah. direction. Oh, really? Never, yeah, I was one eye, and I just had to sit down on the curb. I was pulled the trigger on a fucking BMW. Well, where were you staying? Weren't you just coming back to New York together? No, no, we were staying down in Philly. Different places. Yeah. Where were you staying? Don't worry about that, bud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the lady in the kitchen, we keep that silent, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> he he fucked off to somewhere too. He I probably did. got a hotel. No, I didn't. No, I did some. I did. Some he got another show. I did really? Some he got a show and yeah. tell. Nice. I'm very mischievous. He went down to Delaware Ave and went to another one. <laughs> 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 I got to use this forty bucks somehow. <laughs> That's always a. Um... Excuse me, ladies. You have a show here too. <laughs> That was always an awakening when you realized that, like, especially like when you were younger with your boys, you know, how like you guys would stay together pretty much until the end of the night, mm-hmm. you know, because if you live together, whatever, or if like, oh, I'm going to Susie's or I'm going to wherever you go there. 
But as you get a little bit older and like we have a little bit more money, secret yeah. squirrel, like, baby. Yeah, we all disappear and do. You got no idea the, what I'm doing. Whatever the fuck we uh-huh. do, who knows? Yeah. Uh huh. You have no idea. And the next morning, you just go. Ah, it was good. It was a good night. You don't say. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't been by one. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's how you know. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. It always, I just ordered in. No big deal. Me it always, you're fucking. <laughs> ripping and roaring all over AC. Dude, you got a dog collar marker <laughs> on your throat. You still got a ball in your mouth. <laughs> hey, I caught it early. <laughs> oh my god! You're choking through a ball gag. On hey, it's fine. We didn't do anything. Right. That's when you realize, like, we're we're adults. We're yeah. we're men. It takes me till the afternoon to start copping to all my. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, More in the morning at like a, a breakfast kind of situation. I'm I'm always like, no, it's fine. Nothing yeah, really yeah, happened. Yeah. And then by the afternoon, people are like, wait, but where, how did that actually work? Uh, right. And I'm like, all right, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you give them one detail, and if they don't yeah. shiver, you go, you want to hear more? <laughs> wait, you yeah. called us in the middle of the Lincoln Tunnel. I understand. <laughs> and you're on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> it was windy as fuck. <laughs> when you left it yesterday, you had a short sun. Now you're wearing a full snowsuit. <laughs> Acid warms up the blood. <laughs> oh, man. No, never admit to the grave. Yeah. That's sure. when I realized it all. Everybody has their own secrets. It's okay to have mine. Now, to your to friends, grave. you got to admit it. You got to admit it. You can't keep that stuff inside. That's actually what I found with, with, with yeah. podcasting. Before before we started a fair one, yeah. Shane and I, like there was, there was nothing, I would say, in all of my fucked up experiences. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I can't say that. I can't say that. I want to get a job. I want to get hired. I want to get a fucking... And then I realized that wasn't going to happen, so I'm like, yeah. let's say it. You also this is very entertaining realize, shit. You, you also start crack to realize that you... started you. doing pounders. <laughs> yeah, you crack a beer at noon, you're going, fuck it, you want to hear a tranny story? <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you start to realize that it's like your whole identity is just these stories. Yeah. It's like, if I don't tell these stories, what am there's I? literally nothing. Right, yeah, what yeah, am yeah. I? <laughs> then I start saying Rashi Sharma quotes and stuff like that. <laughs> you fucking feel no... I'm That's not over that. I hate that. Why? What you did. You're going to love the movie. We're going to we watch are, it. We are flowing into a stripper I thought you meant. I, I thought the story great. was going to get so wild that you we were going to have to stop it to protect. Oh, no, no, no. You no, thought no, that no. was like a code word to go, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Don't no. tell them about the actual show. I wanted, I, we, I just wish we could tell. I wish we could get the bartender on here and hear her. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> she's sleeping right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's taking a fucking 12 she hour just, nap. She's just sitting at the bar reading a book. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, this bitch was nuts, dude. She was gacked out of her skull. Ooh. Look at this. Pop derves. Wow. Oh my god, wow. look at that. This is Is that bacon wrapped jalapenos? <laughs> you wanna is. try one? You wanna do a live taste? This is gonna fucking Let me get some matches. I feel like we have to. We have to try it. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Look at this. Look at that. You guys got a little home here. Yeah, we're doing all right. I don't get this at my place. It's Shane's it's Shane's lady. <laughs> Shane's lady is taking good care of us. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, oh, buddy. Good handle. You see that slip and slide? Yeah. Chris, you mind if I finger it? These are no, beautiful. This is nice. No, this is clear. This is a podcast. This well, is should we just cut here and go yeah, Patreon? Yeah, cut. We'll go, uh, we'll cut go to the go. page. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we I'll got start, Foley for another yeah, I got uh, a couple, half hour. I got a couple stories. For Sounds you. great. 45 minutes. So what, this is the end of the, the regular episode? Is this all you guys do? You gonna say that shit again? <laughs> yeah, this is all we fucking do. Is this the end of the episode? All we do is make it singery and and, uh, and some poppers. You I just want to say you thank plug? you for me. You want to... No, just the special that comes out December twenty first. Yeah, on right. the YouTube page. Take a bite and, and watch gonna, are you garbage. We're gonna cut out yeah, after watch you go. Are you garbage. Listen, are you garbage? Wherever you get podcasts. You know what I'm doing? I'm sending this to our trainer. You're fucking cheating right now. Mm. That's good. God damn. That's fucking really good. <laughs> mm. What's that cheese? Cream cheese, baby. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know it could taste yeah, like that. Mm. Delicious. And feta. Yeah. Wow. See, I knew there was something Thank else. I didn't have a very refined I palate. Didn't taste it yet. You do have a refined palate. <laughs> <laughs> Real Rosh Hashanah palate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see the other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>